So recently I was out in my vegetable garden that I just started and I came across a little critter. Um, the upcoming clip, I kind of blame a lot of the damage in the garden on, uh, on this little critter, but it's probably not 100% its fault. Um, just wanted to know because <laughs> when I first saw it, I was pretty startled, um, but, you know, they do what they do in the garden. So, I'm out in my garden, and I'm pruning my plants and stuff, and I'm wondering, why do my tomatoes look so bad? And then, I spot this. Look at him. Look how big he is. a big caterpillar. Look at him causing all this damage. What a jerk. <laughs> um, so yeah so after I saw that caterpillar um, well first of all the, it's probably hard to tell in the video, but um, it's a pretty big caterpillar. It was about like maybe four or five inches long and about like an inch and a half to two inches thick. And it was <laughs> like I was um, I was leaning down to like look at my tomatoes. So when I noticed it, I I just like turned my head and it was like right there in front of my face and I I got like that feeling like you know if you can imagine yourself seeing a snake and you just like get um like a oh how, how do you describe it when you see a snake or something that you don't expect to like be where it is and you kind of just freeze and get a little bit dizzy <laughs> i had that reaction to the caterpillar because i just i didn't expect to see something so big right in front of my face and i don't i didn't know at the time what kind of caterpillar it was i looked it up and it's actually called a tobacco hornworm um they're they usually, they eat tobacco plants or tomato plants, and the tobacco hornworm is usually, is commonly confused with the tomato hornworm, which has, like, a similar shape and coloring, but, um, a few different characteristics, and they both, um, turn into, uh, this one type of moth, uh, but, Anyway, so it was really surprising, and um, I just picked it up and like with gloves on, because at the time I didn't know whether or not it was a poisonous caterpillar. I just picked it up and I put it over in. Um, oh, we have a we have a buckwheat bush, a California native buckwheat, um, in the corner of our backyard. So I just picked it up and put it over there, and yeah. So. Um, so after this ordeal, I, um, I decided that it would probably be a cool idea for something to draw. Um, so I decided to do like a bunch of, or a few sticker designs and then, um, like tomato garden themed, um, possibly stickers. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'll do with it, but it was fun and it was a nice way to get, um, like a themed, a uh, bunch, a bunch of themed artwork going. So yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it and the other drawings that I did. It also gave me an excuse to use this old song that I found a while back. 
um, that I probably will include in multiple garden related uh, videos just because I think it's funny and you know it fits the theme of vegetable gardens obviously <laughs> um, yeah hope you guys are all having a good week and I'll see you next time Rock, rock, rock.